So I joined a coaching group and it's something that I never thought I would do and something I never thought I needed to do. Um, you know, often we fall into this trap of thinking that we know everything. And when you have some success, you start to believe uh, believe that you do. And you start drinking your own Kool-Aid. And, and I found myself, um, as you know, you know, the reason I started this channel was because I found myself isolated. And as a business owner, when you become isolated, you start to believe everything that's in your mind. And I always thought to myself, I don't need a coach. Why would I pay someone to tell me what I already know? But since being in the program the last three, four months, um, it hasn't been about the coaching as such. It's been more about the connections. And what I mean by that is the people I've reached out to, the people I've met in the group, there's about 40 people in the group. Um, and by reaching out to people and having these conversations, um, a lot of things happen. And one of those things that happen is you get to learn about other people and understand that everyone has challenges. Some people have success, some people have failures, some people uh, dealing with things that you may have dealt with and some people are dealing with things that you haven't dealt with and everyone's on their own path and one thing I've noticed is a few of the people in the group um, are connecting and connecting on a deeper level of business partnerships and opportunities so there's a few property developers in the group uh, business owners um, and some new people in the group who have no business skills and no property skills. It's a very interesting dynamic. And what we're seeing is that when people are reaching out to others, you're really only one conversation away from a completely different life. What I mean by that is you never know if you meet with someone, have this conversation, you never know where that may lead. Sometimes in the group, people have started businesses, have done property deals together, uh, and these ideas and things may not have happened, well, probably would guarantee have not happened, had they not been in that group networking and talking to other people. And, you know, putting themselves in a position to do something. So some people in the group have money, some people have time. And if you have lots of time you may not have money if you have lots of money you may not have time but when you bring the two together that's when deals can get done and for a few of the younger guys in the group who have time but no capital um, their ability to talk to to reach out and um, not be scared to reach out because you know, nothing happens when you pick up the phone just someone answers and you talk to them so don't be afraid um, but what you're seeing is then Younger dudes catch up with guys who have some capital. Um, they come together. They form a friendship. They bounce ideas off each other. They find a deal. They create a deal and generate wealth for both. And it just got me thinking about, you know, my own story. The reason I'm in the group is because I want to do the same. I want to be involved with other people. Um, it's lonely. It's isolated being a business owner by yourself. And the conversations and networks and relationships that I've created myself have been exceptional also. And that'll lead to something soon. So really two things. One, you never know what's around the corner. You're really one conversation or one idea away from a completely different life. So it's important to reach out to people and network and grow your circle of influence. Um, so for this video, don't be afraid to reach out in the comments and, uh, and who knows where this may lead. We may create a group of people who can uh, network and bounce ideas together as well. And uh, secondly, I think society with social media, I mean, everyone's addicted to the screens and their phones. I'm sorry, but you're watching this on the phone too, most likely. Um, but I think the ability to network and 
have human interaction has really lost its way and has lost the importance of it as well because everyone's go-to now is to text or message or DM and face-to-face human interaction really has become a lost skill which is weird Um, so I think if you want to do something different you almost need to go and talk face to face with people go and network and uh, if you want to do business you want to do property deals you want to get more involved in the community go and network go and shake hands look people in the eye and and uh, build relationships because you never know where that may lead to so to close I would never have ever in a million years thought I'd be in a I'll be paying someone to talk to me once a week um, in a coaching group. Never, ever. But it's actually turned out to be one of the best things I've ever done. So don't be afraid to try things. Again, I go back to the analogy. I always ask my kids, do you like oysters? And they always say no. And I say, have you tried oysters? And they always say no. So you never know what you like until you try it. When it comes to business or jobs, try a hundred of them. Try as many as you can because you never know the one that you actually really, really like to do could be just around the corner. And remember, you're always, always one conversation, one video, one message, one human interaction away from a completely different life.